myself into now well, I'm about to take this big old pedal board down And I'm gonna replace it with a multi-effects you Welcome back to the Deluxe Productions channel where we talk about everything music, outdoors, video, photo related. Today, if you had figured it out already, we are going to, well, I am going to be there. I don't have any help. You can believe that. I'm going to be turning this into this. Now the HX effects is the unit that has only the effects. There's no amp modeling or anything like that in there, which I already have an EQ that I'm very happy with an EQ and a DI. I use a the radial tone bone and uh, I'm going to be using that basically standing in as my amp. I don't, uh, I don't necessarily use an amp for my electric. I'm hoping to go pedal board only. Yeah, some guys like it, some guys don't to each his own. That's what I'm going to try to do. So my setup hopefully is just going to be uh, the HX effects through an EQ with a DI straight to the board. Um, you can run stuff through the effects loop if you want to and I might do that at some point with my acoustic pedal board just to incorporate that in um, and use the compressor and things but I've been watching every video I can doing all the research. I've always been a super analog guy but yes I'm going to a multi effect so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm not saying that I'm going to always use it or That'll be my always go-to, but I picked up one today uh, from my buddy, actually my brother-in-law, Garen Warwick. He works at the Guitar Center on Capitol Boulevard in Raleigh. If you need something, see that guy. He's a great guy. I got a lot of buddies that work at Guitar Center. If you're ever in Fettville and need something from Guitar Center in Fettville, go see Brian Shaw. He's a good friend of mine. The guy can give you an incredible deal on a Line 6 or, or anything. Uh, look him up. He's on Facebook. All right, we're going to unbox this line six real quick. I'm going to put it on my board and I'm going to give you a couple sound samples. The whole goal of this video is to see how long it takes to unbox the HX effects unit, get it on my pedal board, and be up and playing um, using the factory presets. Now, I haven't created my own presets yet. That's something I'll have to do. It's going to take me quite a bit of time and I definitely won't be able to video that. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I'm going to unbox this thing, let you guys have a look at it. I'll get it on my board. We'll play a couple licks on it and we'll see exactly how long it takes to go from box to board to playing in a bedroom situation. All right, well, we don't have a second camera set up today because it's late at night and I unexpectedly got this today, honestly. So uh, we're gonna make do and I'll just give you this angle and you can listen to my, my big mouth talk. It's 9.47 p.m. I'll let you know once we have the thing plugged in and running how long it took me from box to board. So here's the unit all wrapped in plastic. It's actually uh, pretty heavy. There's the USB cable. Plug into your machine so you can actually build your presets in the software before and load them that way instead of having to do it inside the unit and that's just uh you know that's like a quick instruction thing so of course we're not going to read any instructions let's see here does anybody ever read instructions anymore all right not actually what will happen is if something happens and something goes wrong and i can't figure it out i'll get the instructions haha all right let's get this out Stupid camera keeps focus breathing. I'm sorry. Trying to keep it steady. There we go. So yeah, right off the bat, the first thing I noticed is that it is extremely, I wouldn't say extremely heavy. I'd say it feels extremely well built. So it, 
feels heavy in that sense. Heavy in the sense that it's it's well constructed, not heavy as it's going to be a bummer to take the gigs. Uh, it's a good size. If I can just get the, I mean, I really only use five main effects. I guess I use a um, I use an auto wah, a little bit of overdrive. I like to have a distortion pedal, some reverb, and uh, some maybe some chorus, and definitely some delay. If I can get that out of this and get a good sound out of it to where I can just go to a gig, pop this in, and play through the PA, I'll be extremely happy with it. So, let me see what we got here. Alright, I'm going to plug it in. My buddy Dan Ring is going to complain and ask me why you're filming without the light. And well, he's just going to have to get over it. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you need to check that out. This guy's an amazing videographer and friend. We work together quite a bit and we'll hopefully have some vlogs up soon. All right, let's see what we got. I have power. I have a banging my new guitar all around. Input mono, that's input. Oh, should be an output. Mono output. Okay, let's see. Input to the guitar. All right, we've got the yellow cable going into the output to the PA speaker. We've got the green cable going to the guitar. And I'm using my new PRS that everybody got to see in my last cheese ball video. All right, let's turn this thing on. Just saw the power button. So it's been exactly 11 minutes. Now let's figure out how do we get to the tuner. Oh, I see the green lights. Even up when you're in tune. That's all right. Pretty handy. And yes, I tune flat. That's because I have to, so I can sing. I'm sure some vocal teacher out there right now is cringing. Tuner works well, that sounded great. All right, let's see what we can get out of this thing. Now that's my bridge pickup. Yeah. Let's go old school. 
Well, that's about all the noodling I think I have in me tonight. So from beginning to end, it took me about 11 minutes to unbox, grab my cords, plug it into a speaker, and at least be getting sounds out of this box. Uh, I hope I can replace my pretty much my whole pedal board. I know uh, I'll probably keep a couple of my pedals at least right for right now and run them through the effects loop. But um, for the most part, I want to minimize my electric setup. Now my acoustic setup, it won't change. It took me too long to find the sound that I wanted and it's 99% analog. So my acoustic pedal board is going to stay the same. My electric setup will be mainly the HX effects running through a DI EQ uh, instead of an amp uh, straight out to the front of house and it has double output, stereo outputs. So you can run it to front of house and to your amp if you want to use amp. I don't plan on using amp that much unless I have to. So yeah, that's it. The HX effects, can you see that? Oh. That was a quick unboxing, quick sound test. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, you can always shoot me a comment in the messages I answer pretty much immediately. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Click the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, I should have one, at least one a week, new videos coming out, trying to build up my YouTube channel. Spread the word, subscribe, have your friends subscribe to this goofy guy who can barely play guitar, but I try hard. Anyway, everybody have a good week and uh, we'll see you next time.